Libra. Happy May. I hope you are doing well. Okay. All right, guys, you know the drill. Sun, moon, and rising if you choose. Okay. I think most of you do, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. I shuffle and clear off line so I don't waste your time. Okay. All right. Here we go. Clearing some stuff. That's nice. Oh, good. Okay. All right. The overall energy is the seven of coins. Okay. It's being patient while the universe aligns things for you behind the scenes. Okay. You've planted the seeds, basically, um, and now you're going in a different direction. This card shows up when you are uh, about to make a life change, okay? Um, but uh, how do I, it's by the universe's guidelines, so to speak. It's going to hold you in a holding pattern because it's doing things behind the scenes. So if you're hitting resistance in some area, uh, if things aren't going the way that you want them to go, rest assured they will. They're aligning behind the scenes. That's what you want. Okay, because it just means that it sees what you're doing and it can do it better for you and you're deserving of it. So that's what's happening. And then the floodgates open. Okay. Let things go at their own pace, basically. Okay. Relationships, jobs, just let things go in the natural order of the universe. Know when to hold them, when to let go. Basically, just let the universe align it for you. That's great energy to have across the board here. It's calm. It takes a lot of pressure off of you, okay? Because what you're doing is you're clearing stuff out. The, the crux of this reading is the Ten of Swords. It's the end of something that has been a royal pain in the butt, okay? The good news is it's the end. Um, it's like the silver lining. Uh, it can't be resurrected old thought patterns, old ways of living, um, anything that has been a horrific uh, pain in the butt is clearing, okay? It's the end. You can actually see the sun coming through the clouds there, okay? It's, it's the end. So rest assured that the worst is over, okay? How it shows up is in... Uh, not carrying stuff that's not yours anymore, not taking on responsibilities that aren't yours to carry anyway. It's it's lightening your load. What this is, it's an ending of a phase in life. It's a phase in something. Um, too much energy is being exerted in uh, a life that's not yours. When this card shows up, a lot of times it's that you feel like uh, like a um, a wild bird in a cage. It, you just feel like you, you don't even know who you are anymore. And that's when this shows up. But the good news is that uh, it's the end of that. Okay, it's the end of a cycle in life. Okay, you've got two tens. Two tens. It, it's an ending of something that, that just is not serving you well. Okay. Two tens together, that's huge. Okay. Um, there you have it. What you're leaving behind is the Three of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry, the Three of Swords. That is a heartbreak card, but it's not uh, so much relationship heartbreak as it is old patterns. It's old ways of doing things that uh, constantly leave you feeling like this, okay? It's just, it's letting all of that go. Again, the natural order of things, um, like our energy here, just the natural order that the universe flows sometimes catches you here. You know, this is people saying things that hurt your feelings. It's uh, relationships that have crashed and burned. Either way, it's in the past. It's it's letting go of, of all of that, okay? So that's a good thing. Okay.
with that card, I'm going to say there's an air of uh, fear. To move on from that, to truly move on and put it in its place, you need to just bust through the fear is what that comes up with that card sometimes. Yeah, to step into your power, you, you just need to basically step over your fear, and you'll do it, okay? Where you're rooted here, the root uh, anchor, so to speak, is the Five of Wands, okay? That's a card of letting things go, no drama, just you don't want to deal with it, and that's what you're doing. You're clearing it out, okay? Be confident in what you want and let the rest go. That's, I think, what you're doing here, too. You're just not carrying crap that's not yours anymore, okay? Or it was yours at one point, and it no longer is serving you, so you're letting it all go. And that's what you're doing. You're just clearing it all out, okay? You know what you're fighting for, and you know what you're going and you're going to do it, okay? Because what crowns your reading is the Six of Wands. That's victory card. That's uh, you realizing who you are in your life, your uh, relationships, your hopes, your desires. Successful resolution to things. Just, it's the end of a cycle. Um, these are a lot of fire in here, okay? It's, you know, the hard-fought battles in life. Life just kicks the crap out of you sometimes, you know. But uh, clearly, this is not uh, something that just came one day. It's, it's over time that accumulates, but you're clearing it out, you know. This is someone who has taken on responsibility as a parent role from a very young age. So basically, they never really uh, had a childhood. They had to step into the adult role from a very young age, you know. But when this card comes up, it's just saying you now realize that that's just not going to work for you, that you matter and you step into your own, okay? I think that's great because the future position here where you're going over the next year is the star card, okay? That's your true north. You're going in the right direction. You know exactly where you're going. This is a destiny card. It's a soul mate card. And I'm separating those words because there's a big misconception of what a soul mate relationship is, okay? Soul mate relationships are you just, uh, you help each other grow, okay? You uh, stand in front of one each other and just make them be the best that they can be. If you need to be the lesson at the time for the other person, you are. But it's not to a point where it's like twin flame burned down the village. This is that, hey, look what I'm showing you, and the other person getting it, and then you move on. It's not, it's no drama. It's it's no drama, okay? Um, This card is heaven on earth. It's here for you, okay? The signs are here. This isn't going to be something that you can think your way through, uh, try to logically uh, find resolution for it. The universe is uh, sending you blatant signs. You're not going to miss them. You're not going to miss them. Watch for the signs. If you miss them, way off track. Go back to basics. Be where you are, okay? Um, this is the light at the end of the tunnel of this <laughs> and of this. It's just no more BS, period, okay? Where you go over the next year, your action part in all of this, is the Two of Cups. I love this card. This again, guys, is that soul mate card. And I say that because it's in balance. It's not, uh, it's like that the tree roots, they grow uh, stronger together. Okay. It's just, it's 
easy, it's balanced, it's mutual, it's, it's karmically sent to you, okay? One of the other signs got this reading, and it was, uh, it was a, it was this relationship against another one, and I really could not stress enough that this is not a relationship that you want to lose. This is a divinely guided, sent to you relationship. You don't want to lose this. You will miss it, and the odds of it coming back are slim, okay? So just, just, just know that all this work that you're doing is for something. It's for happiness, okay? It's good health also, by the way. Okay. Your domestic situation, your day-to-day -day life, you've got the justice card. Again, another karma card, okay? It's about wanting a strong foundation in your life. Uh, trusting relationships, trusting people, doing things the right way, honesty. Uh, it's just steeped in uh, it's just a good life. You know, it's no drama. Again, it's uh, it's karmic payback basically, to you for things that, uh, you know, you've had to go through in life, okay? The battles that you've had to, to go through. This is a spiritual victory, okay? And you don't get there without doing things the right way, okay? And you are. And it's showing up in your day-to-day. -day. And that's where the power is in the day-to-day. -day. That's why with this card, I said, stay present. You don't want to miss it, okay? Uh, the hopes and fears is the two of wands, okay? That is bold moves, bold choices, wise choices. Choose wisely, okay? This, to me, comes up in a relationship read. It's, it's about a relationship. Choose wisely. Choose someone uh, that is going to have your back here. I know I sound like a broken record with this card, but it's true. Um, you don't want to have cleared all of this crap only to get yourself into a relationship that is going to uh, put you back here. You want to choose wisely. You want to choose someone that uh, when the chips are down, they've got your back, okay, and is an honest person, okay? You want to do that. The seven of swords is your outbound, okay? It's your uh, the outcome of this. There we go. It's uh, going in a different direction in the midst of opposition. Uh, you know, you're doing something major in your life. You don't just clear a lifetime of this out and just get clear sailing. This is you just going in a different direction and deciding what you want to take with you and what you want to leave behind. That's all that it is. Seven is a divine number. The universe is behind you, pushing you here. Okay. Look at this lineup. This is where you cross the bridge, okay? Once you realize that, uh, you know, you're going to put yourself on the map here and that you matter, okay? All of this clears out then, okay? It's great. Okay, Libra, I think this was wonderful. This was a lot of clearing of stuff, um, but you did it, so... Thank you for watching my video. I am beyond grateful. I hope that I've helped you in some way. Uh, thank you and have a great May. Thanks.